you can't you can't download it because that's my song. I wrote this song. Just, we, we were saying it in praise and worship, and I said, well, listen, we need to record that song. I wanted it just to record it for me. <laughs> Not to put out on iTunes or anything like that. It was just for David because that song really ministered to me. The name of the song is I Can Depend On You. Right? And he's, he's talking about I Can Depend On You. And he, he was just, you know, it was in my head the whole time. I can depend on you as I was going through the stuff I was going through. And he was like, really? You really want to record that song? I said, yes. Uh, he said, um, it, it, I, it, I can feel like he was almost shocked, like someone really wanted to help. And so I don't think he knew I was really real. So when I called him back maybe a week later to schedule the studio time, and I scheduled the studio time, I said, get your musicians together. He said, oh, you're serious. <laughs> I said, I told you I was serious a week ago. I thought, you're serious. <laughs> this is your shot. Right? And before, he was just a minister of music playing at churches. So, uh, long story short, his wife, we were in the studio. I think my son and my daughter was there. We were recording the song. And um, his wife leaned over to me. She said, David, I just want to say thank you. And this has a lot to do with primary so just follow me. She said, I just want to say thank you because uh, so many years, for so many years, people, and my, my husband has helped so many people with their musical careers, but no one has ever taken the time to help him. Wow. And you're helping this, I can hear this in my voice. She said, you're helping him make his dreams come true. Wow. Wow. And I said, hmm. I was just recording a song just in a week. And later. <laughs> <laughs> After that session, I called in some real musicians, some other people, and then we made the song really crack. Wow. I mean, it, it, I mean, if you, if you guys yeah. heard the show, they sung the song, oh, song. Awesome, but um, it's on. You can buy it now. I, think. I don't even know where you can buy it. But yeah, but you can put that up there. But um, my my point with that is that again, this is part of our ministry. Yeah. It goes beyond going on appointments and stuff like that. It's what you can do with the money yeah. when you're making two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred, eight hundred thousand. Wait till I make two million. <laughs> We're really gonna crank up ministry. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because yes. our goal is to add value to people yeah. and give glory to God. Right. That's our mission. Right, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna buy five hundred thousand dollar cars. I'm not gonna buy. I mean, I'm, I don't need that. Me personally, I'm good. I, I, don't, I don't need it. If you want to buy, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But I want to do other things. I want to add value to people, and I want to give glory to God. Yeah. I want to help. Yeah. Drink. That's so cool. And <clears throat> what was great is that to to to, to tell that young man, uh, I said, Brandon, how did you feel? Opening the concert for three of the greatest headliners that's playing on Christian music today. Wow. See, he got a chance because see, no one knew who Brandon was. So me and my wife, our idea was, well, no one knows who you are. But what if we throw a concert with people that are well known and you can open up? Thanks. Uh, and if we control the show, guess what? You can open up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to beg nobody. I don't have to have no meeting. Right. <laughs> this is our month. This is our show. You get to open up for all these people. And God, I, guys, I can't tell you how powerful you can be. And, and for, you, for you believers in here, when you stop just thinking about you. Right. Right. All of us are guilty of that from time to time. That we just think about us. And there's so many more people out there that we can go help. Yeah. Right. So, as you know, we put on the concert because we wanted we wanted to add value to people and give glory to God. Now, you guys know that concerts aren't cheap. Yeah. Now, if you're talking about grabbing some local bands, that's, that's a little different. People don't know. Right. It's a free concert. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone can put that one together. Yeah. But a real concert with real artists. With named artists, it's expensive. You know, this Israel Hooten and his group by itself was forty five thousand. Wow. He's like really big. Mar, you, we better learn how to start singing. <laughs> <laughs> one night, forty five grand. You know, um, that's just one group. 
and Primerica's a scam. Uh.